Since this is your second assignment using Zoom, you should already have your free account with username and login. If you don't, go to week one in your classroom, scroll down to the bottom of the page, and select Click Here to create your free Zoom account. Once you're logged into your Zoom account, under the Host a Meeting drop-down menu, be sure to select With Video On. You can close Zoom's launch window once your meeting has begun. Now you should be seeing your webcam on the screen, which indicates the meeting has begun. If you don't see your webcam, click the chevron next to the camera icon at the bottom of the screen and select your webcam. If you're still not seeing your webcam video at this point, make sure there's not a red line through the video camera icon. To set up your microphone, first click on the chevron next to the microphone icon. From the pop-up list that appears, select the microphone you wish to use. Test your audio to ensure test, the microphone test, icon test, is filling test, with test, some green when you speak. Before beginning your Zoom recording, open your PowerPoint or other presentation software. In PowerPoint, click on the Slideshow tab. Then, set up Slideshow. In the dialog box that appears, make sure Presented by a Speaker Full Screen is selected. Then click OK. Return to your Zoom meeting screen and click on Share Screen. In the dialog window that appears, select your PowerPoint presentation. Once your PowerPoint is being shared, click on Begin the PowerPoint presentation. It will expand to full screen and you should be able to advance it with your mouse or with the space bar or arrows on your keyboard. When the PowerPoint opens to full screen, your video will be reduced to a small window. Position this window at the top right corner of the PowerPoint or wherever you wish your video to appear throughout the presentation. You can also toggle back and forth between the small square and the larger square on your video pod to increase or decrease the size of your video. If you choose to use the larger size video screen, be sure that you've designed your PowerPoint slides accordingly. Now, move your pointer to the top of the screen over the green bar until the drop-down menu appears. Slide your pointer over to More, and a drop-down menu will appear. Click on Record. As you can see, there's also a keyboard shortcut for beginning or stopping the recording at any time. The keyboard shortcut is Alt plus R. The first time you click on Record, you may be asked where you wish Zoom to store the completed recording on your computer. You can either accept the default or you can choose a new destination. Clicking on Change File Destination allows you to select New Folder, so you can provide a specific name for a folder that will appear on your desktop for immediate access. To determine if you're recording, you can always place your pointer on the green bar and slide it over to More. If the drop-down menu says Stop Recording, that means you are currently making a recording. Hi everyone, this is David Taylor, and welcome to this business case study on the Advanced Surgery Center of San Antonio, an ambulatory surgery center. Before we get started on San Antonio and the analysis of its business situation, let's first ask ourselves exactly what is an ambulatory surgery center. Now, after you've finished your presentation, Stop the recording by either using the drop-down menu under More or by typing Alt plus R. Next, locate the folder on your computer containing the new Zoom recording. Open the folder inside and double-click on any file to begin the conversion process. When the conversion process is complete, view your recording by opening the file named Zoom underscore zero. It should also have the .mp4 video extension. 
Hi everyone, this is David Taylor. After you're satisfied with your recording, upload only the MP4 file to your assignment number three in your classroom.